So what they decided to do is for people who are about to die, they would write a message facing upwards to the ceiling above the bed and suspend it there. So if a person goes above their bed and looks down, they'd be able to read the message. So when they rejoin their body, they, want, they should then tell us what message they saw. That's never happened. It's just... <laughs> now, I have a cousin who, when her father died, was alone with him in the room, and he's in an open casket. And she's otherwise completely rational, okay? I'm not saying this is a crazy person to completely... She's a real estate agent. She tells me of a conversation she had with her dead father. And I said, was it in your mind? No, he sat up and spoke to her. I said, what was the conversation? And she said, well, we, he asked, he said, don't worry about him, he's in a better place, this sort of thing. So this is her eyewitness testimony. I'm not gonna say it's wrong. I'm just saying it's not scientifically useful. I told her, next time this happens, <laughs> ask these questions and not those questions, okay? <laughs> don't say, are you happy? Uh, uh, did you, how you, no, say, are you wearing clothes? <laughs> Where are you? Where did you get your clothes? What temperature is it? Are you, just ask questions. Like this is, this is an amazing scientific experiment you could be performing. That's my lesson to all of you. That if you find yourself in that situation, okay? Because uh, if, if a dead person sits up and starts talking to me, oh,